Being able to unweight the front wheel is an important skill on the mountain, so I wanted to train a test rider on how to do a manual. This was quite a difficult challenge because I have realistic model with accurate physics, and so I tried to explore what works and what does not work, and I had to build a control system that would enable the rider to hold the position. I wanted to compare just pulling back on the bars versus pushing down and then shifting the weight back. I did not have any success at all until I had the rider stand up fully and then push way forward and then pull way back. I added a control system so that the rider would apply a little bit of braking power on the rear wheel if the angle got too steep. The thin line in the bottom center of the screen is the angle, and the thick line shows how much braking power is applied. On a gentle slope like this, I found the rider would have to apply so much braking power that they would fall over backwards. To check how realistic this was, I compared it to still images of a real rider doing a manual. The problem is, is that they both seem to mess it up in different ways. With a little more fine tuning of the braking power, I finally had some success although the rider still runs out of speed and falls over backwards. A little more fine tuning of the preferred angle seemed to help. Getting the front wheel off the ground seems to be a weak point of this method. Increasing the rider's arm strength really did help in getting the front wheel off the ground, but too much arm strength really caused some problems. I guess that's looking pretty good now. Okay, now let's try the moving down and then back L motion and see how well that works. On the first couple of tries, it really seems to suck. What are we doing wrong? Well, I figured out that I was not allowing the rider to go far enough back over the back wheel. Okay, now that's definitely far enough. Instead of just using the brakes to maintain balance, I had the rider shift their weight forward and backward to try to keep the bike at the right angle. This worked well enough, but it sure makes the rider look like they're doing some funny dance. So let's compare how this L method works in comparison to a real rider using some screenshots. I've converted the video images to pencil drawings to make it harder for you to guess where I got the video. Surprisingly, it looks pretty good, which gives me some confidence in the simulation. So let me know what you think. Am I on the right track? Where do I need to go with this simulation? Do I need to work on better realism or maybe just a better control algorithm? <laughs>